Hey guys, this is Lori with LM's Crafty Creations again, and this time I have a project share and tutorial for you all in one, like I've been doing lately. This is for the March Craftology box from countrycraftcreations.com. So I will put a link down below on how you can access the and sign up for the Craftology box if you're interested. It's always got a ton of great stuff in it, and I just love and look forward to getting these boxes every single month. This month, they have chosen the beautiful Graphic 45 Sun-Kissed Collection, and isn't it gorgeous? I've decided to do something a little bit different that I have had floating around in my head for just a little while. Um, so the album does actually like stand up like this, mostly. Um, I've done the Turtles in the Spine. I fussy cut this one out because there wasn't enough turtles I didn't feel like when I cut it out, and I wanted this one to show, so I cut him out. On the back, I did the turtle paper again. It was my favorite, and I layered it with the um, Authentic Spectrum paper. And then on the front, I've just used the signature sheet. I just loved this little girl, so I just cut around her. And then I've used some of this cute trim. I still have a bit of it left. Let me show you what it looks like, because it's throughout the album. It's like, whoops, there's some seam binding. Looks like this. Isn't that cute? So that came in our kit, and um, I really loved it. I've used it on hair bows before, but never on um, an album. So I took the sticker, and I mounted it on cardstock. This is a magnetic closure, and the book opens this way. So there's that bottom flap, and I have a little strip of turtles down here. And then this one flips up. So it's going to be difficult to see it, it lays out like this, and I can only get it all in frame kind of sideways. So I'm going to show you the top portion. So what I've done on the very cover is I have a little flap here to hold these photo mats in, because when you close this down, the photo mats fall out because it's upside down. So And I really liked this girl, so I cut her out and put her there. Again, just two of the you know photo mats. I just used a plain brown cardstock. And then I put a strip of the turtles. They're my favorite. You'll see them throughout the album. And then this strip right here. These will hold full 4x6 photos. And let's look at the pages. So we're going to have to go back and forth here. So I apologize for that just because of the way the album's built. Um, I have a cut apart here. And then just um, like a 3x4 photo will fit there. This flap opens up. And then this is really for smaller photos. The pages are five by six and a half is what they are. So I have like this will hold a four by four photo here. I did those photo mats in the pockets here. I have um, two stickers layered here. I punched out one inch circles and added the stars to them right here. And this photo mat just kind of floats and tucks into the stars. That closes. And in this album, you have a side pocket here, which will hold a decent size photo mat. And I'm only going to pull out one, so don't worry, you won't have to watch me pull, put them all back. Um, and I have a little ribbon tab here from the ribbon that came with the kit. And then you also have a bottom pull out here that will hold a larger, I don't know, it's just a little bit smaller than a 4x6. So there's that one as well. So just note when you're creating this album, you have to be careful with your tabs because um, they will scrape on the bottom of this once you close it. I learned that the hard way. I had to cut my tabs down. So this page flips up. And again, I've used some of this cute trim here, and I've kind of cut it in places to make it kind of fan out. Just some seam binding and one of those stickers. I've punched the edges of this one. And again, of course, turtles. So there's that flap that flips up. And then there is a, you can fit a four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mat in this pocket. And I think, but I think I did mine four and a quarter by six instead. This, I popped this turtle up on a foam dot and added, and I backed everything on cardstock and added them here to this pocket. And then on the other page, Right here, again, I have a cut apart, and then I've done a little um, photo mat, smaller one, three by four, and added the tabs. This opens up, 
So again, you have a 4x4 photo, just some of the stickers, and then the mat on the side, and then the mat at the bottom as well. So this flips up. And a strip of the um, stickers right here. And then this one I just left plain. I just liked the way this paper looked. And there is that one. I would layered two strips of paper here and put a sticker. And on the inside, again, I loved this little girl, so I cut her out again. And I just noticed that I actually put a sticker with her on it right here. And I didn't notice those were the same, probably because I had the photo man in the place and I didn't pay attention. Strip of the paper here. I have popped this, left this open, and popped this turtle up on some foam dots. This lifts up like this. This is a cut apart from the six by, I mean, sorry, eight by eight paper pad, I believe. And then this flips up. And then again, I've just used a border strip from the paper. This is a border sticker strip. There's the photo mat. And I try to coordinate top and bottom papers together. Um, two strips of the paper, the stickers here. I made a little belly band out of one of the stickers and stuck two of the tags and then I matted them um, on cardstock. And then here is another photo mat and all of these little ones right here are left open so you could tuck your photo behind all of these little squares. This one flips up and then um, again a cut apart that I kind of fussy cut some and then this lifts up and you have the border here and then the sticker border right there. This is that same cut apart on that other page um, from the 12 by 12 collection that I just matted. Another photo mat and then the turtles right here. I thought were really cute. That was part of the stickers. And then at the end we have just a small waterfall that I kind of got crooked because I had my book turned the other way when I put placed it instead of right in front of me. So don't do that. And then I have this little trim again with a little sticker. And these are will hold four by four photos. And they flip up. I thought that was really cute, even though it's crooked. I don't know what was wrong with me when I did that. I was so disappointed when I got it in and realized it was crooked. So let's go right into the tutorial. Um, the page style for this is super simple. I am going to give you the measurements for the binding and then these elements and the waterfall, but I don't have a book made right now to show you how to put them in, so I'm just going to include the measurements um, for you so you have them. You can do that on your own. I used Basic Gray, the large magnets. Do I have any with me right here? No, my desk is such a mess, I can't even find them. Anyway, I used two here and then two here. So this would, and there's actually like three layers of paper in between, because I made this using um, the album using contact paper before I did the actual paper. And so they're still sticking really well, even though I've covered the book twice. The contact paper didn't work on this style of album. Um, because it's like a folio style, it doesn't do very well on that, those styles, in my opinion. Okay, let's get to it. This is not going to take any time at all. So, I've labeled my pieces here. Base page one and two. I made four pages. So, if you want to do the same, you're going to cut four pieces at six by six and a half inches score on the six and a half inch sided half an inch on each end and then also cut four pieces at five inches by six and a half inches and I'm going to fold on our score lines here and I'm going to use my glue Ooh, maybe is it clogged? No. There we go. Which I don't know why I'm putting so much because I don't really need to keep this once I'm done. So we're just going to glue this down. 
Well, this wasn't cut right. Look at how much of gap there is right there. You won't have that. Apparently I cut mine incorrectly. Yep, it's just a little bit off. I don't know what I was doing. Sometimes it happens. Okay, so now I'm going to take this front flap. This is six inches by five and a half inches, and you're going to score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. Just fold right here. And I'm going to add my glue here. And I'm just going to attach that right here and I'm just going to center it on the side. Oops. So there's that first flap. Flip that open and then we're just going to put our pocket. My pocket is cut to 5 and 7 eighths by 3 inches. Score on the 5 and 7 eighths of an inch side at half an inch on each end and then on the 3 inch side at half an inch. And I'm going to minor the corners. So like I said, this is super easy page style. Takes no time to create. Takes longer to decorate than it does to actually make the base pages. So that's true of every album, I guess. At least for me. I get lost in the details. So we're just going to glue that down to that flap while it's open. The inside of the flap, I should say. And there we are. There's the front of our page. Now, when you're making these, don't forget that the page flips up. So you're going to flip your page this way. So your flap's here. Your paper's going to be in the front here. Flip it. And then we're going to work on this page like this. So we're going to do a large side pocket so that way we get the pocket at the bottom here, which is what will attach to your binding, and then also a pocket on the side as well. So cut four at five and a half by seven and a half, score on the seven and a half inch side at half an inch on each end, and then on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. I'm going to minor my corners. Gonna fold everything. Hopefully this one lines up nicely. Yes, it does. And I'm gonna add my glue. I am using art glitter glue for those of you who are not familiar, and I love it. It's my favorite glue to use for paper. It dries very quickly, so you don't have much room for error when you're using this glue. Okay, so now I have my large side pocket, and on top of this pocket, we're going to put our flap, which is five inches by five and a half inches. Score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. Whoops, stuck. I'm going to add glue here and stick it just right on the top. And then open that up. And we're going to put our smaller pocket at the bottom. Cut this one to 6 inches by 3 inches. Score on the 3 inch side at half an inch and then on the 6 inch side at half an inch on each end and miter your corners. Make sure everything is folded really well. Add your glue. And stick it down to the bottom of the page. And that's it. Can you believe it, guys? 
super simple album and I think that it really turned out cute even though it's just got like kind of two page styles. So you make four of those and down below like I said I will include all of the measurements for everything. I'm not going to do the waterfall and stuff on camera because you guys have seen me do that a million times and most of you know how to do it by now. I used two sets of magnets which is this set right here actually three there's magnets here and then magnets on the cover and I will include the measurements for all of my photo mats down below so you'll have that and I think that's it this was a really cute collection super fun to work with so I hope you like my project and thanks for watching